versus India third test verdict, Joe Root's batting lineup is spluttering like a clapped out Ford Anglia. England are set to gamble again with the same team who were sliced and diced at Trent Bridge in the blind hope that they will have learned their lesson by next week. A 203 run defeat is not the usual platform from which to declare carry on, but at 2 1 up in the series, Joe Root is preparing to put his faith in a batting lineup that are spluttering like a clapped out Ford Anglia. There could be a shuffling of the deck shares if the running repairs on Johnny Bairstow's fractured finger are enough for him to take his place in the side as a specialist batsman with Joseph Butler donning the gloves. And if Bairstow is free to play as a batsman he could leapfrog young Ollie Pope who is finding life tough as an international number 4, but who might find things a little more familiar back down at number 6. In Nottingham they were bowled out in a session before being taught another lesson by man of the match Virat Kohli whose 97 and 103 were master classes, and for a time Joseph Butler and Ben Stokes certainly appeared to have taken some useful notes. But it will take more than one partnership of substance next week to put away an Indian side with their tails up and on the charge. You can nitpick around other areas within the game. But ultimately our batting in the first innings was very poor, admitted Root. It's happened on a couple of occasions, and it's obviously not good enough. In this format, and for the group of players we've got, it's well below par what we're capable of doing. The challenge for our top order is for someone to stand up, drag a couple of players with them and make a really big contribution. One thing that's come from this game is you look at that partnership between Jose and Ben. And it's a great example and lesson to the batting group of how to go about things in test cricket. Alistair Cook is one man who shouldn't need an example when it comes to test match batting and Root is standing firm behind his former skipper who came out of a dip in 2014 at the Ages Bowl against India. His runs have dried up and despite holding four catches at slip in this game he has put down his fair share of the 12 England have grasped in the series so far something that is tearing the bowler's hair out. Cookie is a world-class performer, said Root. He's proven that time and time again and actually I'd like you to write him off because every time he's written off he comes back and scores a double hundred. We have to be realistic about these things. Both top orders have struggled and it might be that's the case again in Southampton. But we do need to take our chances and that is something we are working hard on. We are trying to get it right for the next game.